In Brandon Sanderson's Reckoner series, the main character, David, loses his father at an early age. And it wasn't until after he lost his father that he truly looked in and reflected on what his father valued in life and used those memories to truly learn and understand his father. This situation reminded me of Dr. Seuss's quote that we never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. And we can see that this is true because the value of a moment isn't truly revealed until after we've left or lost something. This happens for two reasons, hindsight and reflection of losses. First, we can see that in hindsight, we need time to process what's happening and being able to process and look back on what happened allows us to truly value those moments because they have become a memory. Andrew Bernard from The Office is a great example of this. In the last episode, he explains that in my time here, I spent most of it talking about my acapella friends and he talks about his days in college, calling them the good old days. It wasn't until the last episode that he revealed that these days in the office were the best days of his life. And he wishes he would have spent more time in the moment because he didn't know he was in the good old days until he had left the good old days. Because in hindsight, he needed time to process and to remember these memories. Another example is the United States presidential memoirs. After every president leaves office, they write a memoir of their time, expressing their regrets, reflecting on their successes, and giving advice for the future. A specific example would be President Jimmy Carter. In Jimmy Carter's memoir, he writes about how you have one life in order which you can give to, give to your people, and you need to adjust to what is coming because these memories that you have from the past will allow you to make decisions for the future. He was very faithful and expressed his regrets through his memoirs because in hindsight, these memories and these moments aren't valued until after they've happened. Another reason why we don't truly value those moments until we've left them or we've lost something is because often we reflect upon these losses. We reflect upon the moments that we've left. After someone we love dies, we take these moments to value the memories because they are all we have left of said moment. These me memories become even more value because of the fact that that's all that's left. For example, in the Disney movie Soul, the main character is a jazz pianist and he's fueled by his memories of his father and the memories that brought him to where he is today. And one of the most emotional scenes of the movie, he sets upon his piano, all of these little trinkets and things he's collected that have emotional or even just momental value to his success, such as the bagel that he had on his first day in college for music. And they fuel his emotions in order to play because he's reflecting upon the loss of his father and the past memories that he had in order to move further. Another example would be Bonnie Bennett from The Vampire Diaries. She loses her grandmother and not until after she loses her grandmother does she truly know what is happening with the beliefs her mother had on magic. After she loses her, she puts effort into going and learning about what it was her grandmother valued so much. And this is because we can't truly understand what's happening until we have time to reflect upon it. In the end, when Dr. Seuss says, you never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory, he's expressing the fact that we can't truly understand something until we can look back on it in hindsight or reflect upon what we have lost or left in today's time.